So we're going to be watching a recommendation from the comment section. It's going to be George St. Pierre, a fellow Canadian like myself. Not sure why he's called Rush in this. I thought it was just GSP, but this is my first time watching. So let's see what we learn. Artist. I mean, when, when right. I look at you, George, in the UFC, there are fighters and there are martial artists. And you were always a martial artist. George oh. St. Pierre. GSP. GSP, somehow named Rush. Yo, he's getting grounded. Ground the South Shore, St. Isidore, Quebec, Canada. George St. Pierre. Wow, the orb bar. Forward Phil. Raised in Quebec, GSP was undersized and bullied. Bullied, really? In an effort to stand up for himself. Oh, Munchkin. GSP started training in karate. Oh, there he is. Karate would form the foundation for the fighter he would become. Oh, the Pumsei. Earning his third the Kata. degree black belt at age 12. Wait, does he perform this every fight? Or is this just a showing right now? Carry this training through the entirety of his career. Martial artist. St. Pierre. The true This is going to be one hell of a of fight. St. Pierre, unbelievable athlete, strong guy, and well-rounded fighter. St. Pierre decided MMA was the future when he watched Royce Gracie conquer UFC 1. Oh. Yo, he's UFC 1. Like what a throwback machine. Some huge shots. Oh, the arm bar, the special. That's like a WWE move. That is it. He did a special, he's the winner. He needed to train in Muay Thai while simultaneously training in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. But there was Yo, nowhere to receive this type of training in Canada at Yo, the time. Yo, how does this guy get bullied? He was working with a garbage man when he first came and spoke almost no English. So GSP traveled seven and a half hours, almost daily, from Montreal to New York. Yo, that's so far. I mean, impressed by the sacrifices he was making. Hey. He gets to reap those rewards now, huh? He began taking the beginner's wow. class. At age 18, he entered the Canadian pro fight circuit. And I also learned that he was had very little money. He lived in a flop house while working as a garbage wow. man and training full time. Wow, that's crazy. Yo, great dedication. Good for him. I'm glad everything turned out well for him. Oh, they actually even say Rush. And, uh, they don't just really, say GSP. Uh, he really knows the ground game like nobody's been. I guess they, that was a he rushes for their legs because he's like control. a grappler. Oh, that has to be sound effects. Oh, that has to be sound effects. Dude, that caught me Watch off guard. Watch him rag doll this guy's head against the canvas over and over. No way. Oh! Yo, that's a knock. Yo, well done, dude. Yo, Posh, you're right. Yo, he good. Oh, he's also paying respects. Reminds me of like the Muay Thai and kickboxing, you know, the culture. He's definitely a martial artist. Embodies I'm the whole thing. Thomas Denny came up here from California to kick some Canadian ass. I know you Canadians don't like me now, but you'll like me when I leave the ring. I'm here to fight George of the Jungle, but he better watch out for that knee. Thomas Denny came oh, looking I'm, like I'm, Shao Kahn. Ooh, I'm Mortal shivering. Kombat. Ooh, that's scared. They scared me speechless. That was such a weak trash talk. What? I'm coming for you, George St. Pierre. I'm going to conquer that jungle. GSP handed him an old fashioned wow, beat down. Round one. Started training in martial arts at age seven to GSP. Oh, yeah. Oh! Okay, the George sound effects, Pierre, man. Is, uh, they no make it his, uh, feel more ability. impactful. Get over here! He just Get over here! Really really Technically, he's just he went to him. It's not even funny. Wow. Is that a special? No way. Oh! to do that. Wow. 
when it comes to training, George is all business. He's not about being emotional, he's about being strictly effective. In the early years of MMA, there oh, were yeah, many who had well-rounded training. And so George was one of the first that started to have a bit of everything. You were either a striker or a grappler. Some cross-training was essential, but fighters leaned into their strengths. GSP's training was ahead of the game. My name is Pete Secret Weapon Spratt. Another. Unfortunately, I should be at home with my family and friends on this holiday weekend. But, but since I'm here, I might as well finish some unfinished business with George St. Pierre. My God, these are so weak. George Saint Pierre. Probably reading something from behind the camera. Being the Canadian champion didn't I'm here. pay much. Fighters were contractually obligated to paint ads it? on their backs in order to draw additional revenue. No way! But you can't do that now in UFC, huh? GSP was so strong, he could latch on to opponents. That's pretty creative, though. And end fights before they even began. It was his quick wow, assault that's... style that earned him the nickname, Rush. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, okay, okay. The quick styles. Okay. Yo! Just bodyweight drop and tapped out. Wow. Final effort. The back tattoo seems weird, though. GSP was called up to the big leagues, the UFC. He holds a mixed martial arts record of five that wasn't wins even, with no okay. losses. Standing five feet, ten inches tall, weighing at 167 pounds. George Rush St. Pierre! Yo, he's juiced, man. What a Here we go. big boy. Show of class and respect, red trunks, Parisian. I, you know, I just turned 23. I know I'm not the best welterweight in the world right now. I just I changed I 23. A, I have a lot of things to uh, correct. Yeah, George St. Pierre is... Is he uh, the greatest of all time? Reputation for Canada. He's, uh, is he better than uh, up there. John Jones? With each contest, GSP grew as a fighter. And we will render the judge's decision. George Rush! Oh, he's called Rush here too. I just want to say to the uh, American fighter, soon, uh, young, a Canadian young guy, young gun is coming to kick ass. Uh, he's got a very large frame. That's all good. English is his second in language. Division, he's he's on for each and he is very big. Yo, the strike will like a as well as his ground and pound. This is the master of shootbox. Shootbox enables me to determine will this fight stay oh, standing. Wow. Or will it go to the ground? The elbows are raining down. Jeez! Ref. Yeah, ref. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, what a nice guy, but he he looks fierce when he's in battle. George St. Pierre just uh, came off a big win tonight. And at the press conference tonight, even Dana White said you are... Way better video than John Jones, that's for sure. Dana White was correct. Good looking guy though. This fight is five rounds. Matt Hughes. For the vacant is he still fighting? No, no, no. This is old. Matt Hughes. Championship of the uh, world. I don't know much about this UFC. Sorry, UFC. guys. And perhaps before his time was Name sounds familiar though. Matt, Matt Hughes. Hughes for the world championship at a very young age. Here we go. Oh, maybe like Someone I know the original the UFC. Yeah, Here like Rampage Jackson and all of them. Like I've heard of George St. Pierre as well. But I haven't really seen any fights. I just know the names. If St. Pierre was able to keep Matt Hughes from taking him down, he's going to say something about this fight. There it is. Matt Hughes 101 into the guard. Come on, Georgie. The guard is open. He lost not wow. so much because Matt Hughes beat him, but because he made a series of obvious mistakes. Matt Hughes on this and it's all over. Damn, it's all he over. loses this one. Matt wow. Hughes okay. Submission victory. Okay. Bang, over. Matt Hughes is once Dang. again. It wow, was wow, too wow. much, too soon for the still green GSP. In the beginning, I used to beat people by overpower them. But then UFC, this is more like a chess match. At one point, it's not athletic, you know? It's, it's also brain and, and, and analyzing stuff. Yo, what a machine, your military training. In the UFC, I do believe everyone is in shape. But I believe the reason why a guy is more tired than another guy is because one guy is more efficient than the other. What the? 
It's like seeing Mickey Mantle play baseball. It's like seeing Muhammad Ali box. And it really becomes a matter no of... No way. Yo, someone he looked heavy there. ...that finds that one hole in your arm and has physical attributes similar to yours oh. or enough to nullify yours and has oh, an okay, added yo. equation. Yeah. <laughs> yo, it got me. It got me. It got me. It got me. Yo, yo, I'm not going to lie. It got me. Yo, what? Canada ...to defend his TKO title. The, the one thing you see when you look at the physique, I mean, this is an incredible athlete in George St. Pierre. He is. His speed advantage is definitely going to St. Pierre. He's a very quick athlete. Finishing with another first round submission in what would be his final TKO fight. Oh, he broke the guy's shoulder, right? GSP oh. returned to the UFC, matching up with another veteran of the octagon, Frank Trigg. This is a yeah, huge, I don't know who this guy is. showdown. One could make the argument, number two and number three in the 170 pound division behind the multiple champion Matt Hughes. Another dominating performance from wow, Rush. These guys Sinkier. are slippery. Really bad position for Frank Trigg. Choking Trigg out in the first round. Oh my Trying god. To to a different position. Ah, He's got the neck. Ah, yo. Yeah. He's got it locked. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Backflip and oh, no, no break dancing. I want the belt. And the welterweights are underway. Jeez, just goes for the hips, huh? Oh, nice take to one. Athleticism and power. Okay, sound effects. I gotta remember those are sound effects. Wrestler on his back and doing some damage. Thrashing renowned wrestler Sean Shirk in two rounds. Dropping them elbows. Yo. Bloodbath. Yo! Yo, how could, how could GSB bat me? That's unreal. Not mean as in like he's a mean guy, but I mean like fierce, like aggressive. Like that. And ask the UFC management to give me a world title shot. Please, I want the belt so bad. Give it to me. I'm not gonna do a mistake this time. Give me a chance for the belt. Yo, he's ripped, man. I still can't. Wow. Oh, BJ Penn uh, against uh, St. Pierre. He was in the original the UFC game that came out, right? Use. That's how I know BJ as well. BJ St. Pierre would be pit against or St. Pierre. I didn't know they were the same. Great. I thought he was like a Finway. BJ Penn. Oh, poke. Oh, dude, I George thought he was Sanders actually wearing a belt. It was a rough start for GSP. No, was it? Ow. Oh. What's BJ Penn known for? George St. Pierre's face is busted. No oh, way. Okay, is he a striker? First round for BJ Penn. BJ Penn is a deceptively strong striker. Is he? Matt Hughes watched from the crowd. St. Pierre, a lot of, a lot oh, of he's still right champion. Here, oh, he this is about fight, okay. Like winner gets the okay. The pace. And as you said, he was disappointed in himself in round one. In the next two oh, rounds, okay, so he's hitting bottom and then goes up. Dominated the action. Good, 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 good. Ooh. Oh. Oh, scoring multiple takedowns. Yeah. And being the clear. Okay, aggressor. so BJ Penn wants to stand up, so he's a striker. Okay. Oh, he's tired though. He's more efficient and less tired. Okay, he's gonna take him down and then get him in for. Wow. Oh wow. Okay, it's done. It's done. It's done. I would hate to have to score that fight. Oh no. Whoa. White looks young. He looks better now. Over there, he looks a little bit like. Will it be St. Pierre or will it be BJ? Let's Penn? just say money does buy good looks. By split decision, George. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Why wow, he's still called Rush? I had no idea. Is that Joe Rogan? No, that's very cool. No, like I said, I train hard, but I train smart. At last. What a GSP different era, man. They have such different looks. Matt Hughes. I like how Joe Rogan and looks now. The title. Joe Rogan and Dana White look way better now. Rush, I wonder how George St. Pierre would do in uh, in this era. I'm not saying like he's, he, he would get dominated or anything. I'm just curious. He, he seems very like a very good fighter. 42 and 4. Wow, Matt Hughes is a vet. Holy. 
history. I didn't know he was that good. Wow, 42 and 4. That's a lot of fights and a lot won. Must have been a champion for a very long time. Are you ready? Let's get it on! Big John Matt Hughes, wow. Is he a legend? This fight was much different than the first. Nice. So he's going to strike more? Well done. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Round is over. Oh, my God. He's missing teeth. GSP put on a striking clinic. Okay, I guess you got to pay the price, huh? Yeah, he's done, huh? Yo, dude. Yo. <laughs> the new champion. Unbelievable shot. Yo, congrats to George St. Pierre, but dang, he is lethal, bro. Those sound effects really get me. They, they do wonders on this video. No, oh, that must be such a good moment. Like you talk about what what makes you scared you talk about what you're worried about like you you know so you're like i am scared because i i don't want to lose to this guy like there's a lot of people who never admit that and yeah but that's I, it, sarah you, i don't know it can make you stronger is. to admit that you're scared because you're not scared to say that you're scared a powerful striker who landed a blow to the back of gsp's dome right out of the gate fighting for his first title defense and when he was knocked out Wait, he actually so loses? It looks like George is not all George is made out to be. Mount and just dropping bombs. Oh, wow, he lost. Oh, wow. I was just angry at myself. I couldn't live without thinking about it. I was. I was angry because I knew I was better than what I, than what I, what I showed, oh, wow. what I did. I didn't realize he. I'm not only okay. driven <clears throat> by by money. Like I, it's good to have money. We like money, but it's not the unique thing that drives me. And I still remember how strong that son of a bitch was. With each passing year, GSP continued to morph his training into an all-encompassing regimen. I guess I watched boxing for so long I'm, that, I'm, like, the record means way more than it does in UFC. A weird strength. And a lot of it in his grip. He would not stop until every single part of his body, all the way down to his little toe, was in the perfect spot. Yo, what an athlete. I don't know what that does. I've never done that. Like, resi it's a resistance training, but I don't know. The weight doesn't matter. I get, maybe it's just a resistance. It has no weight. People were really underestimating how great George St. Pierre was. Yeah. He's a guy who yeah. beat every person that was ever put in front of him. The, the losses that he had avenged. All right, gentlemen, here we go again. We will have a clean, fair fight. Need to obey my commands. Okay, so this is like winner time. goes to the championship. Interim welterweight title to be delivered to the victor. Right, An injury forced Matt Sarah to the sidelines for a year. Really? This opened oh. the door to a GSP Matt Hughes rubber oh, match for okay. the interim welterweight title. Until he comes back, I guess. He's got a kimura on one side, a possible uh, on Is he done? GSP out-wrestled the wrestler. Oh, he's a wrestler. Into submission. Oh, he got him with the armbar. The one that he got. Ah! Wow, he beat him twice. Wow, he turned that four into a six. Now, GSP would get the opportunity to avenge his loss to Matt Serra to redeem what he called oh, Matt the worst back. performance of his career. I mean, that makes sense. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of 
of the evening. George St. Pierre is the greatest ever. If you have to make a case, for, and four, make okay. a case, I don't think there's a stronger case for anyone than for George St. Pierre. Crazy. He had two losses that were Matt Hughes and Matt Serra, right? Oh, he snuck a punch in there. And came back and destroyed them. Yeah, he, ooh. GSP immediately went to work. Take down after take Yeah, you down. can see that he... Serra turns, GSP doesn't He just improves. Stop. Win or lose. Jeez, yo. Followed by brutal knees to the midsection. Yo, brutal. Board Films does such a great job. This is a really good video. One of the best. Wow. I do not like MMA, but this, this right here. Wow. This is a great video. Showcasing GSP. Wow. I'm, I'm having goosebumps, man. That's, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. He made George St. Pierre look really good, Joseph. Joseph, Joseph my guy. Stacked. Well done. It's just a murderer's row of assassins. One lining up after the other, each killer looking more impressive than the next, all waiting to get a hold of George. And here we go! Immediately, St. Pierre takes him down. This is no easy task. This guy has, a, he has a, a, an incredible uh, task in front of him. He has an incredible challenge. To, to be champion, to stay champion, to continue to improve. Oh shoot, that guy just got up! As GSP Jacking about his prime, he was simply a cut above the competition. Great punch, great punch. Yeah, dude, wow, very smooth. Yo, I love it, I love it. This video, wow. Don't get knocked out by one of those. We saw a video of someone can get knocked out. Champion. I don't think oh, he wears his kimono out. kind of gear? Nice. Okay. A rematch with BJ Penn. Why does he have a belt? The tactical layer, which is the last one. That's what separates contenders and champions. There's a physical, the technical, and the tactical. The tactical, I will know how where I can take you out of your comfort zone. I can't believe and BJ I can Penn is actually this good. It doesn't and look like anything. This is a, a testament to George St. Pierre's discipline, his focus, and his work ethic, because no one works harder than this guy. Yo, what reach. Yeah, he has that advantage, being that light. Ground and pound. that tall and lengthy. Look at that reach, man. You know, I'm just incredibly impressed by his ability to control BJ on the ground. Like, why would you want to fight this? Ow! Stop it! Ooh, whoa! Yo, mashed potatoes. A thorough beating. BJ quit on his stool. No way. No way. No doubt who the greatest fighter was. This Yo. time, you know, last time I fought him, I won in a decision. Hey, the this time, I really wanted to take him out. And I'm glad that I did it. He's very tough. I don't know who this guy is either. 22 and 4, though. It was another exhibition from GSP. What is that? The pit bull couldn't stay oh, on his just, feet yeah, long okay. enough to do any damage to St. Pierre. I was like, this doesn't count? Took him down over and over The again. charity fight? Just use that superior wrestling. No. Dude. And oh. Excellent timing. He punches the head, kicks the body, jumps forward while going backwards. Like, but he is using teleportation to fight. St. Pierre got him again. There he goes. Never satisfied with his growth as a martial artist, GSP sought the best expert in each discipline's field. George is one of those guys, when you teach him something, I mean, he's just getting the hang of it and he's just kind of feeling his way through it. And then he goes home, and the next day he comes back and he has it perfectly done. Wow. Freddie Roach was working on, on the mechanics of punching. Yo, what an athlete. athlete. I think that's more in incredible. Brazil, or you would be constantly practicing your Muay Thai. It's like more of a training Learn video than a game. UFC wow. video. I Almost did those. a martial oh, artist I first those. and a fighter second. Oh. In, in that you're always learning and you're always practicing. 
GSP used the lessons of Freddie Roach in his next fight, turning to an aggressive Roach striking out. game plan. St. Pierre, 14 UFC victories. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Bludgeoning Who's his this opponent guy? Oh. with the jab. Doesn't even give us a name. That's how Superman unimportant he is. Punches, jabs, and face kicks. That guy looks scared, bro. He's hurt badly. St. Pierre sensed it and took the opportunity. Ooh. Easy work for the baddest man on the planet. I thought that was uh, the other guy here. The black ball dude. Or Ergos? Yo, perfect timing. Woo, drop down. Oh, hey, on it. Oh. Hey, his name, name's Jake? Yo, he just got thrown down. GSP was the undisputed reigning welterweight champion, undefeated in over four years. But everything changed when he tore his ACL training for his next match. Suddenly, that, will do it. that which he valued most was taken from him. Mr. St. Pierre, when in a perfect world will you be back into hard training and fight oh, again coming off that, that major sucks. knee surgery five weeks ago? ACL as well. Carlos Condit was crowned the interim welterweight champ. Carlos? Carlito cool. I'd be GSP so afraid to was fight. faced with two realities. Either he'd never return to form, or he'd take back what was rightfully his. Ah, uh, I just wish there was a world where we don't get sick or injured and see how far we can go with our athletic skill. Until I beat him, I am the placeholder. He looks for the first takedown of the night. Yeah, he wins. And he's got down. He opened a huge gash over Condit's eye in the first round. Yeah, oh, yeah, dude. I just saw it actually get open and just blood coming out. Wow. The interim champ hung in tough for five rounds. Yo! But GSP is strong where he left off. So technically, GSP didn't really lose. The only thing he lost was his ACL. What a fight! What a fight! CA and ADA. Let's go, Canada! You oh, said that in his the cage that George wasn't hurt. He's scared. Previously on X Men. I don't think George is hurt. I think he's scared. He's scared to fight everybody right now. Why are you mad, bro? Because you're fully and everybody knows it. Is that Nate Diaz? Yeah, why? why are you mad for Saturday night? Watch what happens Saturday night, bro. Do you, do you really think I'm afraid yeah, of you? Nate, that's fine. Okay, no, I don't. You, scared, no, you I think don't. I'm afraid of you, man? Are you crazy in your head, man? I'm not scared of you. You'll okay. see Saturday if I'm scared of All you. All right. He said that Nick Diaz, I quote, I, I quote, he's the most disrespectful human being I've ever met. And I'm gonna put the worst beam you've ever seen on him in the UFC. Ooh, look at that kimono, man. Yo, I wow. Oh, let me see it. Wow, he looks so young. Championship of the world. Nick Diaz is one of the greatest strikers to ever fight. Really. Okay. So GSP didn't let him stay on his feet for more than a few moments. Nice. 
Ooh, he winds that up, man. Beyblade style. Just rips it. Yo, those thighs. It was a ground and pound exhibition. So far, if he can do Suplex. This, so Suplex. Oh, it's a take that. So On the head. <laughs> he mad he getting beat round after round now he's standing up oh, dude, what did you block you got nothing he has made it a point to try oh. to antagonize <gasps> gsp in the lead up but it was Nick who seemed emotional during the oh, fight. Oh, it's Nick Diaz? I thought it was Nate Diaz. Oh, dude, this whole time I thought his name was Nate. They took a swing at him still. Oh, it's Nick. Yo, wow. Dude, this whole time I thought his name was Nate. Bro, I'm dumb. Diaz on the ground. Whoa, look at that transition. GSP. Johnny Hendrix. GSP. And Johnny Isn't Johnny Hendrix, Hendrix like an alcohol brand? Welterweight Championship of the World. Is that his nickname or his it actual name? Johnny Hendrix. Fight of his career. How fist, okay. Hendrix hard elbows by Hendrix. As Hendrix landed with ferocious power. Ooh, dazed him a bit, huh? Woo! And bloodied GSP. Nice kick by St. Pierre. Yep, yep. That first round has been one of the most successful rounds that a challenger has had yep. against yep. George. Yep. But the champ persevered. Ooh. Look his... Good right hand Chin's by gone. Charles. George St. Pierre, he's a special guy. He really is a special athlete. Eee! There's a nice right hand by George. My foot would be gone. My foot would be broken, bro. There's a good left hook by George. Tags him. Hey, listen, there's only a debate between two guys. Is it good. John Dang. Jones or is it GSP? Dang, Johnny? It was his 19th career victory. Oh, George Wines. Johnny Hendricks and George St. Pierre. Wow. What a fight. He has never lost a fight that has gone the distance. Hendricks feels very confident. For the winner. St. Pierre in the video, obviously, I, get, I don't get to see the full match, but Johnny seems like, from the look on his face and to Johnny's face, I would say it seems pretty controversial. What were you gonna say? They said everyone, wrong, huh? it was a lot of talk uh, about what's going to happen. I have, a, I have a bunch of stuff in my life happening. Yo, he looks I messed need up. To, to hang up my glove for a little bit. Are you retiring right now? Is that what you're saying? I've, I have to go away for a little bit at least. And I want to... What? Uh, personal things happening and I want to uh, want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart from uh, the, to the UFC who gave me the chance. What happened? Oh no. Something family. Parents maybe. Essentially he walked away from the game. And he walked away for four years. That's a long time to be wow. out of a, a sport that as young as MMA. What happened? Evolving all the time every year, the sport changes. What we do is kind of a life and death situation. It's such an extreme feeling that once you don't have that in your life, 
life kind of become boring. You yeah. feel like you're not alive anymore. GSP is back. He is returning to the Octagon. UFC 217. Okay, he returns. Madison okay, someone Square in the comment section is going to be telling me years, down below what happened. You have uh, Michael years. Bisping on a huge night Michael for UFC. Beasting. Do you feel like you see yourself... Michael Beasting. Who's Michael Beasting? One fight and see what happens, or do you feel like you're now fully back? One and done. <laughs> One and done, because he said OB. like the little <laughs> f*** that he is. If he Bisping. loses, I'm going to Michael retire. Bisping. George oh my god, I thought it was Beasting. There, you can see some... You know, some nice Bisping. little muscles. He's been working on them very hard, Bisping. but he's still going to be the smallest guy that I've ever fought. I just wish Michael Bisping would have come out Bisping. with a different song than all the guys that I've fought before, you know? Oh, you're just an athlete, blah, 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 you're not a fighter. Uh, I, uh, my journey in mixed uh, martial art is more than, than, than legit. With a lot of people, they take time off and then they come back and you, you wonder what they're going to look like. If you were saying that you were better than ever, I'm like, man, he might be better than ever. Like, you, you're yeah. the one guy that I believe. I don't know if he looks as ripped as he does before. He looks like he gained a lot more weight. Yeah, he doesn't look as shredded. Looks older. Do you believe the aging former champ could recapture his past glory? First of all, you came back and fought a very tough guy, right? You fought a big Michael Bisping at 185 pounds. But what was impressive to me is, like, you, you didn't look like you were gone. Ooh, that's so nice. Dude, that little step back after that? Wow. That's a teleportation punch. Yo, his fights are exciting. Finish it. Oh my god. Done. Oh yeah. 45 seconds. No, he's done. Yeah, yeah, that's... Does anyone even get out of these? I feel like that's like a chokehold that you just don't get out of. He went from welterweight to middleweight, right? Yo, gladiators. Wow, people love seeing people get beat. Is he also the only Canadian? between George St. Pierre as a mixed martial artist and the rest of the world is too big for anybody else to close. That is the greatest fighter we've ever seen. We knew that four years ago. Nobody brings it home. Wow. Like that was the Nobody. end? Ah, oh, I wanted more. I so. That was a really good film. Dude, no joke. I was waiting for more. I already looked at the video being like, ah, darn, it's pretty long. Do I really want to watch it? But Posh, dang, you were right. I enjoyed this film. Like the film in general, not only the fighter, but like the actual video at its fullest. I'm literally still wondering what happened in those four years. I wanted to see more. When does he actually retire? Does he, did he have more fights? Oh, a great video. I think it was just well put together. I enjoyed every little bit of it, but I won't continue to talk too much. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Consider hitting that like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys on the next one, okay? Cheers for now. <laughs>